In a game where Terrapin pitcher struggled all night and the Hoyas dominated, a valiant effort was made by Maryland in the ninth inning to tie the game up and send it to extras. But, despite the strong comeback, Georgetown was able to hold on in the 10th inning and win 10-9 on Tuesday night. The second of the three matchups started hot as Georgetown got off to an early 3-0 lead off a two RBI double from Christian Fika and an RBI from Austin Kreshmar. But, like they had done time and time again, the Terps would initiate a dogfight as they responded resolutely with Ian Petrucci's eighth home run of the season, this time bringing in Nick LaRusso, who doubled earlier in the inning. However, the dogfight that everyone expected to take form ceased fire for the next three innings, as both teams made spectacular plays, including the snag from Elijah Lambros. Then later, Matt Shaw flashed the leather for the sick get-up grab. A prevalent theme for these innings was the strong pitching from Kenny Lippman, who put together some strikeouts and got out of jams. But another prevalent theme of the season is the collapse of pitching which incurred its rage on Littman, who would then give up two home runs in the fifth, adding three runs to Georgetown's lead and breaking the cold streak. The Terps got those runs back in the next two innings, with three runs behind an Eddie Hacopian double, but opened the wound right back up with disheartening back-to-back -back blasts over the center field wall from the Hoyas, making their lead three after seven before adding another run in the top of the ninth. This after Maryland left two runners stranded on base in the seventh and the eighth, something they were guilty of all game long. Like we did a, I thought we did a great job of setting things up. Like we had some really tough at bats, but we couldn't ha we couldn't string more than two or three together, and then we'd have an at bat that kind of blew up. And so I don't know if it's a focus thing. I don't know if it was just hey they made pitches in big spots and they were just much better when it mattered than we were. Now Maryland needed another gritty, hard fought comeback. And they did just that, as Rob Vaughn's squad would climb all the way back, jump started by Luke Schlager's two-run single, and later LaRusso's second double of the game, who brought in Schlager, tying the game and sending it to extras. But that's all the gas the Terps had left, as Elijah Lambros would come up with a costly error in center, allowing a run to score, and Maryland would stall the plate to heartbreakingly fall to Georgetown, 10-9, evening the season series. With Terps Sports Central, I'm Andrew McBride.